News here in the CBS Sports HQ. The number one overall pick, Wimbyama, Victor Wimbyama, Wimby Mania, had his first summer league game on Friday night, and the struggles were there for the big man, the 7 4 Frenchman. Had nine points, eight rebounds, five blocks. That's good. Also, three assists, but two of 13 from the floor, one of six from three point range. Spurs get the win, 76 68. The Phenom, like I said, nine points, eight rebounds, five blocks. Spurs get the win in his summer league debut out in Las Vegas. Now let's go ahead and bring in CBS Sports NBA uh, basketball uh, analyst. There he is, Avery Johnson, also a uh, coach of the year, former coach of the year, and a champion, NBA champion with those uh, San Antonio Spurs. All right, let's get your reaction here from uh, Wimby. We, we saw Wimby Mania. We saw a sellout crowd out there, 17,500, the Thomas and Mac. Seats going for north of 1,200 bucks, a sellout crowd there. What were your reactions to uh, Wimby Yama, who uh, showed some signs out there, but also showed that he's also a rookie coming over here from France as well, Avery? Absolutely. And one of the things I've been saying, Larry, all day on CBS Sports HQ, independent of what Victor Wimbyama did tonight in terms of a stat line or whatever, it was always going to come in looking somewhat like an underperformance. The, the goals that folks had for this young man tonight were just totally out of orbit. Um, they were unrealistic. They what, what, is he going to come out and score 38 points, have 22 rebounds, 10 block shots, and 10 rebounds? No, it wasn't going to happen. What I liked about what he did tonight, he blocked shots, he ran the court well, he still has to get stronger. We've talked about that all along. His three-point shot wasn't there tonight. Turned the ball over in some situations, but he read the defense overall well. Um, so again, it was not really an underwhelming performance. I thought it was just a nice, uh, decent performance by a 19-year-old rookie that's come on this side of the Atlantic Ocean, playing against guys <laughs> that have been in the G League overseas, that had played a couple of years in NBA uniforms. He just had, had to get a feel for it. And I think as time goes on, he'll be able to go back and watch this film. He will adjust, he will get stronger, and we'll look back at this performance tonight as just a, a blurp in the radar. Yeah, and you look at it, there were some struggles there. You know, it was nice to get the nine points, the eight round rebounds, the five blocks is great. And you talked about it. He is taking a lot of incoming here. He's got that, that bullseye squarely on his chest there, and guys are coming at him. They're coming for his neck, Avery. And we saw that in the third quarter with Kai Jones absolutely mm. baptizing Wimbyama there. Uh, oh, Wimby got posterized here uh, by Kai Jones. Throws it down right there on top of the seven-foot-four alien there the unicorn what did you make of kai jones and the welcome to the nba moment right there avery johnson he's going to remember that probably for the rest of his career in any team sport you need the rest of your team to function properly in those pick and roll situations or dribble handoff situations you got to have the right communication you got to be on the same page with the guy that's on the, your teammate that's on the ball, where's the rest of your defense that's off the ball? So yes, he did get posterized with this dunk, but if you notice on the back side of the defense, nobody was there to bump the roller. That's something that they'll work on, you know, as time moves on and watch watch the film. It, it's similar, you know, if a quarterback gets mm -hmm. beat over the top, he needs safety to come and help him in football. So. This is a team sport. You're not playing in Wilmington in, in, in singles. You need the rest of your team to function well. They'll get it together. The problem is, uh, Avery, there's no all 22. No one's going to see that. No one's going to talk about it. So they're just going to remember that he got baptized by Kai yeah. Jones. How do they manage the expectations here? Number one overall pick. He's on the river walk. Everyone expecting a lot out of this young man. Pops there. You look at the great Spurs there. You're a great Spur. How do they manage this thing down there in San Antonio to make sure that he has a pretty good rookie season and they just want to see him grow and get better? Externally, the expectations can't be managed because you're dealing with other folks and other human beings that independent of what he does, it's not going to be good enough. Internally, 
the expectations can be managed. What are some realistic expectations? And I think realistically for Victor Wimbanyama in his first year, if he averages 18 points, nine rebounds, four, three block shots, two steals, and four assists, he could potentially be rookie of the year. But we can't put Tim Duncan like or David Robinson's expectations on this kid. Tim Duncan and David Robinson played longer in college. They played in the NCAA tournament. They were older players. They were they joined teams that were much more proven at the time. The Spurs haven't been to the playoffs in what, three or four years. Most of their players are 23 years and younger. Totally different situation. So just have realistic expectations for this young man. Understand that in two years, you can become a playoff team. Keep this thing uh, transitioning the trajectory upward. And this organization and Victor Wimbanyama and the Spurs will be just fine. You cannot overreact to one summer league game. And you talk about those older players. You talk about the Admiral David Robinson. Of course, Tim Duncan stayed all four years in college uh, down there uh, at Wake Forest with the uh, Demon Dinkins. All right, let's look at the number two.